The National Lung Cancer Optimal Pathway is a massively accelerated pathway for patients with lung cancer. So instead of uh, these very long delays that we see in the cancer pathway, we've, we've designed a pathway which shortens every step of the pathway, including the time from the first chest x-ray that's requested by the GP, uh, right the way through to the treatment, so that the maximum length of the pathway from the chest x-ray to the uh, treatment, first treatment, is 49 days which is well before the national target of 62 days, of course, from, and that's from referral. Uh, what it does is it's incredibly challenging. So you, every bit of the pathway has been scrutinized by a group of experts, which are the clinical expert group for lung cancer uh, that, that are an NHS England body, which advises the government on these things. And we were asked to produce a, a service guidance, which was about um, getting commissioners to service, to commission services that provide much more equitable care to patients. And as part of that, the National Optical Pathway was developed. Uh, and as I said, this, this group of clinicians have scrutinised every bit of the pathway. So from the very first chest x-ray to CT scan, which is a very, very short turnaround time, and then on to investigations and accurate staging, and finally prompt treatment, all of that has been shortened massively. And we're in the process at the moment of implementing it. And what's surprising, really, it's such a challenging path pathway, yet people are beginning to implement it. Not, not in total generally, but bits of it are being implemented and because each bit of it is so influential, it's actually making a difference already. What we really hope though is that not only will it improve the patient's experience because delays in the pathway really do distress patients, but we think because it will bring the diagnosis further forward, uh, it'll actually improve survival. Mainly because patients, when we get them, will be much fitter uh, we know patients deteriorate in those few weeks and they'll be able to receive more of this modern treatment that we have now which is, which is more efficacious for patients. So I'm very enthusiastic, I realise it's a huge challenge. We have to uh, support people as much as we can by giving them the tools that will uh, allow them to implement the pathway. So ideas that have worked need to be distributed around the country and I hope that with that approach that people will we'll do things and the most important thing is we need really enthusiastic clinicians who drive the service and really want to do things, good things for their patients.